It is the premier matchup of the Thanksgiving weekend slate Packers, Rams, NFC bragging rights, and potential enormous playoff implications on the line at Lambeau Field Sunday afternoon. Sosa Kremenges from Locked On Rams joins me now in Sosa. This is a Rams team looking to get back on track. Two straight losses going into their bye week. I am I am concerned that this is not going to coalesce the way that they thought it would. What, what can they do to get this back on track? Yeah, there's a lot of things that this team needs to clean up coming out of this bye week. Of course, back-to-back primetime losses, not just, you know, last second we lost on a field goal. No, they looked really discombobulated, really bad offensively, and both on primetime. So the world yeah. got to see it. So now you can say it's also, get... they were ass kickings. Oh, they were really, really bad. Yeah, it didn't feel good <laughs> recording those until two in the morning <laughs> Eastern time. I'll tell you that. So. Uh, unfortunately for the Rams, now they're coming out of their bye week with maybe the toughest game on their schedule in total, really, the whole season. But they need to just play a clean game. At the end of the day, if you win, great. You hold the tiebreaker. If you don't, you know, your season's not necessarily over. Seems like the Rams are most likely going to end up in that fifth seed in the playoffs anyways. But you need to get back on track. Play a clean game on offense. No more turnovers. No more pick sixes. Uh, no more drops on third downs that are drive killers. And defensively, just try to, you, you know, utilize what you have in your secondary and hold the Packers from killing you in one play, a 67-yard touchdown or one of these long plays and make them earn those 12, 13, 15 play drives. A lot easier said than done when it comes to Aaron Rodgers. But in my opinion here, just play a clean game. Whatever happens out of that, you take that momentum into the, ne into the next few weeks and, and try to stack up some wins going you know closer to the playoffs here. This is a game that the Rams brought Matthew Stafford to LA to win. To have a quarterback matchup not seem so lopsided. This isn't Jared Goff versus Aaron Rodgers. This is Matt Stafford against Aaron Rodgers. Now, this is a matchup that Packer fans have seen many times. It usually plays out a certain type of way, but never with Sean McVay and, and Cooper Cup and OBJ and all these guys. So how much of this game do you think is a referendum of sorts on this approach, on the, the picks given up? Like if the Packers win this game, it seems like it changes the way that we view this trade because these were the moments. The Titans game, the 49ers game in prime time, these were the moments that Matthew Stafford was brought here for. Certainly is. I mean, at the end of the day, Jared Goff was a guy that was a solid quarterback. Like, he's not great. He needs to be elevated by everything around him, Sean McVay, the scheme. And they did a good job of doing that. Go to the playoff consistently, win playoff games. Like, they had a lot of success together. So now you bring Stafford in. It's for those pivotal matchups, like you mentioned. The San Francisco 49ers, who have beaten up on you for two and a half years now. The Green Bay Packers, who you lost to last year in the playoffs in the divisional round. Of course, we're not going to know what the barometer is like until we get into the playoffs, because at the end of the day, anything can happen there, right? The Bucks last year didn't look that great at this point in the season. You know, they did look like they still had a lot of things to work through and they go and win the Super Bowl ultimately. So there's still a lot ahead of the Rams here. And ultimately, we can't really know what the returns are going to look like, the ROI when it comes to the season. But as you mentioned, I mean, this is a great opportunity to not only get back on track, hold maybe a tiebreaker over the Packers if they can somehow win this game get themselves in a position to maybe win the NFC West, maybe win the NFC, but also just to get that momentum back on offense, get Matthew Stafford and that offense back in good graces, get, you know, Sean McVay back into his rhythm, into his zone. Uh, so this game has a lot more undertones than just a simple W or L like most weeks.